The Hancock County Road is back open tonight after 15 slide-offs happened earlier this morning. Well, the wrecks, which included a salt truck, were on a stretch of highway south of Hawesville. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett has more from Hancock County. It was on this stretch of State Route 69 where as many as 15 vehicles went off the road. And behind me, you can still see the tire markings from where those vehicles ended up and where they had to be pulled out from. And this is the latest in the series of weather-related slide-offs and crashes that happened across the tri-state. This state salt truck was trying to get ice covering the road melted. We had a state truck come in to help us uh, salt the hillside so we could get a wrecker and move the vehicles. But it was foiled by the thing it was trying to help remove. And it wasn't the only one. That's the third salt truck to actually be involved in an accident on 69 during this ice event. Hancock County Emergency Management Director Kyle Beach says road conditions became treacherous around 3 this morning, and many happened during a two-hour period just as workers started leaving and going to area factories. Then we saw a big impact right around shift change between 5.30 and 7.30. That's when we saw the uh, most slide-offs. I've never seen 15 slide-offs like that. And then the road itself has to be blocked to come off. I've not ever seen it do that. Okay. The ice even impacted the Weber store down the road from the slide off scene where the ice kept some deliveries from arriving. The CRS truck that delivers our milk and stuff to us, he got in a ditch at Thruston and wasn't able to come out and said it would be tomorrow before they come out. Beach says no one was injured during the slide offs. State Route 69 reopened just before 11 this morning. While some of this ice is melting, Beach warns that the roads could refreeze overnight again. In Hancock County, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.